Hey guys, you may know that I made a strongest battlegrounds combat system, but many people are struggling to make it work correctly. So I'm gonna show you how to make the combat system. Let's start with the animations. First import a basic R6 rig and animate the punch animations. I'm gonna use Moon Animator to make the animations, but I'm pretty sure you can use the Roblox Animator as well. Alright, let's make the first punch animation. Currently it's not that good, but I'm gonna use the power of easing. It's too slow. Let's make it a little bit faster. Much better. Now we have to remove the legs keyframe. Alright now a really important part of the animator, the animation events. Create an animation event and put it where the punch begins. Press 7 on your numpad and rename the event to hit. Alright, export it and make 3 more animations. Alright I finished the animations. First let's make the folders for the animations. Let's insert for animation object into the folder. And rename them from punch1 to punch4. Now let's export all the animation we made, a lot of people getting sanitized ID error. While trying to play the animation, I fixed it by setting the creator to my group. Now let's prepare for the scripting. Create a folder for the remote events, then insert a remote event into it. Insert a script into server script service. And a local script into starter player scripts.
So in local script we need to check when the player clicks, but before that we need to get the remote event we made before. Now we gonna use the user input service to check when the player clicks. That's it for local script. Copy the variables that on top and paste it into the server script. Here we gonna do the checks, animations, hitboxes, etc. This code just listens to when the remote event was fired and runs the code. First we gonna make a variable for the character, humanoid and humanoid root part. Then we gotta make two more variables, one for the attacking attribute, and one for the punch attribute. Now we check if the player is attacking or punching. If is attacking or punching then the script just stops. After that we set the attacking and the punch attribute to true. Let's make a function for changing the player's combo. and call the function. Let's make another function for getting the punch animation. and play the animation like this. Now to actually play the animation we need to do this. Good, let's see how it works. Oops, I forgot to change the avatar type to R6. Alright, let's try again. We got a warning. I misspelled the humanoid. Okay, let's try again. An error. This means the character doesn't have an attribute called combo. We need to set the attribute when the player joins. We can do this by a script that checks when the player joins and creates the attribute. Done. Let's try again. As you can see I can punch only once and that's not what we want. The problem is that I didn't set the attacking and the punch attribute back to false. That's the part when we need animation events. We gonna use keyframe reached event for checking when a keyframe is reached. Then we gonna check if the keyframe name is equal to hit. If it is, then we gotta set the attacking and punch attribute to false. We also gonna check if the combo is equals to max combo. If it is, then we gonna wait a little bit before setting the punch attribute to false.
great. Let's see. You can see that the animations are weird. That's because there is two animation playing at the same time. With the same priority, we can fix it by stopping the animations. Before playing the punch animation, we gotta make a function for that. And call it before playing the animation. Alright, first it need to load the animation then it will look better. Looks good. Let's make it deal damage. First get the tomato hitbox from your toolbox. Make a folder in server storage called modules. Then put the module script into it. Great. Now let's make a variable for the module. Good. So when the hit event is reached, we gotta start the hitbox, but before that, we need to set the hitbox properties. Now there is a property called untouch. Here we gotta put the code that will run when somebody touches the hitbox. Let's just make the enemy take damage for now. First we'll check if the given humanoid isn't ours. Then we gotta make the humanoid take some damage. Great, so now we gotta start the hitbox. And stop it after 0.1 seconds. Let's make the dummy's health visible. And let's run the final test. As you can see the hitbox is there. And it also deals damage. Part to coming soon. Thanks for watching.